Hey English students, it's me Mr. Gibson, your English teacher. Um, I just want to take this time to share a couple announcements with you and a couple reminders. So you'll read below that the book reports are due Wednesday, January 31st. Get those in. Um, it would be a shame for you not to do it because it's a, an opportunity to rack up some, some nice looking points on your final grade. Um, so you'll post those on Blackboard here um, and in the discussion board, right? Kind of over here under course units. Yeah, post them there in January's uh, book report thread. Next on the list, so then we have journals. Uh, you need to be checking your email regularly. Journals will be sent there. This week you'll have journal number two, next week journal number three, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you don't want to respond to the prompt that I've written, just write whatever comes to your mind. Um, so, yeah, and you'll get an A. You'll get credit for it because it really is a journal. I write the prompts to uh, help generate some ideas and, and thought within your mind. But if you have something that you'd like to, to write about, have at it. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. So uh, I've seen that s there are many of you, if you're earning you know, 60% or below on your quizzes in Compass. Um, I mean, a couple of those, couple, one or two, you know, if you get below a 60%, really doesn't carry that much weight if you do well on, you know, the rest of them. Um, but if you are consecutively and consistently getting those kind of poorer grades, um, borderline or completely failing the quizzes, what I've done and what I am continuing to do is sending you copies of the quizzes in your email. Okay? So while you're listening to the lecture, you have a copy of the quiz in your email. It's just waiting for you there. That way you don't have to just listen to the compass assignments and then all of a sudden you have to take this quiz. Oh, but I can't reference the lectures again. Oh, I can't reference the story or the poems that I've just read. Oh, man. No, no. This way you can print out or you can have a copy um, of the quiz while you're listening to the lecture. That way while you're listening to it, you can go through and you can circle the correct answers. And when it's time to take the quiz, you've already done it, right? And you feel pretty confident because most hopefully, most likely, you've found the correct answers. That's the idea. Um, and if you still are using them and you're still not getting the type of grades that you think you should be getting, um, please let me know. Sometimes it's not, it's, it's kind of rare, but it does happen. Compass's quizzes, Compass quizzes, uh, they'll kind of mess up a little bit. And so they might have a completely bogus set of answers for your question. Or the question might just be worded really rid ridiculously. Um, where there could be multiple answers or it's just yeah. sometimes that happens uh, let me know if you come across a question like that or if you get one wrong and you're like what you know what is the correct answer and I'll see if I can either I'll either change the, the question to where you'll get credit for it and everyone in the class will get credit for it or I'll explain to you you know what the question was saying exactly and why it's right if it is right um, also, if I see, if I see repeatedly in one class um, that multiple people are getting like really low scores, and it's just across the board, and I'm not counting that one person who maybe scored like an 80 or 90, and just kind of ruins it for everyone, right? I'm kind of disregarding if there's like one, but if it's like a lot of my students are earning really low grades on the quiz, I will kind of weight the quiz a little differently so that way hopefully it won't have as big of an effect because sometimes um, the quizzes will <coughs> or the lectures will not prepare you for everything that's in the quizzes or maybe the lectures will explain something a little differently than how it's presented in the quiz so I'm, I'm really trying to help you out um, so that these quizzes aren't so daunting on your grade and so devastating um, but I still need to know that you're doing the work, listening to the lectures, learning the content. So, but I want to help you out. 
because what I care about most is are you learning the skills um, to become uh, uh, a good writer. Um, that's what I care about most. And can you analyze, you know, literature and, and things of that nature? Do you understand what you're reading? And can you convey it in a way uh, that shows not just competence, but uh, a, a, a good understanding? So I think that's it. I, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all I want to talk to you about this week. Just wanted to tell you about those study guides. I call them study guides that I will send through your email. They're really just the quizzes, and I just take off the little check marks near the correct answers. So, um, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions or if you need any help on any of the lectures. If an Odyssey writer doesn't make sense, let me know, and I will hopefully word it in a, um, a simpler way, hopefully with a little more little the layman's terms so yeah that's what I'm here for to help out in any way I can alright have a great week and we will see you in week four